What's up everybody, welcome back to Gistic Tutorials. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to outline an image in Photoshop. Let's get into it. All right, so you gotta open Photoshop, off, obviously. And this is the picture I've selected. I don't know what it is, don't even ask, but this is what I'm using. So first of all, we need to select the actual bit of the image that we want to outline. So to do that, what you need to do is go to your magic selection tool and just carefully go along, uh, oh, carefully go along the outline of your image. So we're going to get rid of the background. So we're going to go select and inverse. We did this in my last tutorial and then press delete and the background is now gone. Oh, and um, first of all, we got to deselect it by right clicking and pressing deselect. And now we can go to the eraser tool and just go around the edge, go around the edges and fix it up. I'm just going to give them a dome head because I don't care at the moment. But you can put more care into it if you do care. Obviously, that is good enough for me. But I would advise going around it carefully and getting every tiny little detail. But if you do not want to um, go around it with the eraser tool, you can also use the um, where is it? Uh, it's called the pen tool and you can just carefully select the bits that you want to outline and do the exact same thing as I did um, with the inverse stuff. Now all we've got to do is add an outline. So what you want to do is go to your layer over here and right click on it and then press blending options top the top and then this little menu is going to pop up so you want to go to stroke and as you can see that is the outline and one second I so now we've got our stroke on him, which is the outline. And you can adjust the size here by typing anything. You could have it going from one all the way to a hundred, but that just looks stupid. So we're going to go with 10 and you can also change the position of the stroke. So you can make it on the inside of your image. The outside obviously is where most people have it or the center. You can play with the blend mode if you want. I'm just going to keep it on normal. I've always kept it on normal. You can also change the opacity of the um, of the outline. And next, you can change the color. So from black to red or blue, whatever you're feeling like. This guy looks like a pink. Or you can make it a gradient, as you can see. It's different colors all around. And Or you can make it rainbow, whatever. You can pretty much do whatever you want with this. So we're going to go rainbow, change the opacity down. All right, I'm liking that. So after you're done with the outline, just press OK. And to get the background back, just drag the other. So now the background is back in this image. And as you can see, there's a little bit of like hair and stuff hanging out. That's from where I carelessly just went around the edge. But if you put more effort into doing it, it would look way better than this. I don't know how this could look any better, but it would, <laughs> it would look better than this. So yeah, that's basically it. We've got the outline and the background back. And once you're done, you can go save as and PNG, JPEG, you can save it as any file, it doesn't really matter with the outlines, it's only the transparency that matters. So, um, say if you only had a transparent background, you'd have to save it as a PNG because no other formats uh, realize transparency. That is it for this video, if it did help you, please hit that like button, and if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as well. And if you have any problems, please leave a comment below, I'll be glad to help out. That is it from me, peace out. Talking about.